What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Wow, it's been a long time since I said that. Yes, I took a little hiatus. Um, it wasn't really that small. But we're back and we're better than ever and we're going to be pushing out this content. For my first video back, guys, I promised myself in 2021 that I was going to get more into wigs this year. So I know that you guys are used to seeing a lot of braids and protective styling on my channel well we're dibbling and dabbling into something new today so i am back today with a black owned wig company guys i am super excited to let you guys know more about these wigs that i received from them one of them i actually already tried on um and was wearing um i will post the picture right here i put it on my instagram and you guys went absolutely crazy about it so i wanted to stop by and give you guys an informational video about that wig i also received another one from them so we're going to be trying that wig on for the first time and also styling that one um how i would style it in my everyday so i'm excited to do both for you guys so if you guys would like to learn more stay tuned so guys a little bit about the company before we move on to the wigs the company's name is rad swan like i said it is black owned and it is owned by a black woman yeah. we, we love that we love that for us um so these wigs are synthetic but they are geared towards women of color in our natural textures so i was super excited when i received both of my wigs because one of them reminds me of my personal texture just a little a tad bit better um the curls aren't as inconsistent as my hair growing out of my head but it reminds me of when i do a wash and go but of course the hair is a lot longer a lot fuller and it doesn't take me hours to do for a wash and go so i'm all about it and then the second one is kind of like um a bantu knot texture um both of them have the texture of real kinky hair and so i can really appreciate that so what we're gonna do is we're going to go on ahead and try on the wig that I already cut and styled and all of that. And we're going to get more into that one. So, all right, y'all. So the first thing that I'm going to apply when applying my Rad Swan wig is this Rad Grip. Um, this is made so that your wig doesn't slide and you don't have to worry about the gots to be glue or anything like that. Um, these wigs are synthetic, but they are full frontals. Y'all, I have no idea why I keep calling this a full frontal wig. It is not, honey. It's just some lace around the edges, but y'all get my point, okay? All right, proceed. So, if you wanted to, you know, glue down your wig, that's okay. That's fine and dandy. Me, personally, since I'm just now getting into wigs, um, I don't like doing that right now. So... I just wear this so that it's not sliding around and you'll see exactly why I don't glue down my wig in just a second. So here's the red grip on. As you can see, I just put it on top of my wig cap and here she is, guys. This is the one that I said resembled my hair in a wash and go. As you can see, it's full, it's fluffy, it's amazing, guys. As you guys can see, this is, um, I mean, it's kind of like a closure a little bit, but it has the full lace frontal, like kind of in the front right here. I already cut the lace and everything off of this one and cut and styled it the way that I wanted to. So I'm going to put this on off camera and I'll be back. All right, y'all. So here is the first one. As you guys can see, it looks so natural it looks like it's literally growing out of my scalp like i did a wash and go probably like i would say like day two maybe day three hair like super defined very 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 easy to put on like i said in the front there's like a frontal as you all can see my widow's peak is kind of popping out but this is why i really didn't care about like the frontal 
area of the wig and everything because I personally, how I like to wear my wash and goes, I push them all to the front. So I just took the hair from about the middle crown area right here and just pushed it all forward and then cut bangs into the wig um, to make it kind of like a sunflower, sunshine looking um, curly fro. I really, really like this look because this is how, I mean, honestly, this is like my dream hair right here. This is how I personally want my natural hair to look when it's in a wash and go. So the fact that I can achieve that with this wig and it looks super natural is my favorite. This is the Rad Swan 3. I know that on their website and everything, it's not really styled like this. Um, so I figured that I would come and, you know, tell you all how I styled it and everything. I am obsessed, guys. When I say that I'm obsessed, I am obsessed with this wig. Um, it is probably one of my favorite go-tos right now because it is so versatile. Um, and it literally looks real. It literally looks like this is growing out of my scalp. Like if nobody knew they would literally probably think that this is my hair. So, y'all, they won me over with this one. So, next, I'm going to go on ahead and break my next one out of the box for you guys, and we're going to style it together. Ooh, are we so excited, y'all? So, we're back with wig number two. We have the Rad Shape 2 here. As you all can see, the curls are way looser than the first one gives you kind of like a bantu knot flexi rod type deal with how loose they are this wig is super soft feeling very very doesn't feel synthetic at all guys like when i tell you this texture is so soft and nice very very good textured wigs um to be synthetic I'm going to let you guys know that right now. So um, I didn't show you guys on the last one, but like I said, there is a strap, a support strap in here. And then there are two combs in the front of the wig and then two comb, I mean, a comb in the back of the wig as well so that you're super secure. And like I said, this one I just took out of the packaging. So we still have the lace on here and all of that. So you guys can see exactly how you'll receive your wig if you decide to get one. There's also some baby hairs back here. So I'm sure that if you wanted to, you can go on ahead and swoop this up into a ponytail. <laughs> okay, Rad Swam, I see you. And of course we have the baby hairs up here as well. So <laughs> cute. All right, so let's put this baby on. So I'm going to go on ahead and slide the back comb in here and then slide this over my head like so. These wigs tend to fit super snug All right, y'all. So <laughs> this is how we're looking to start this out. Um, I don't exactly know if I want to do like a part. I don't think so. I think I want to kind of style this the same exact way that I styled um, the other one. Just because I feel like it would be super cute just to do like the looser curl like sunshine look on here so i think we're gonna do that so what we need to do first is i'm going to remove this and of course um yeah i look nuts right now but we're going to remove this and we're going to go on ahead and cut the lace all right, y'all, so now that the lace is cut and I just cut along the hairline here so that I still had the baby hairs intact. So just in case 
you know, if I ever did want to glue this down and wear it, um, I could, and I didn't, you know, ruin it or anything like that, even though we're going to push it forward and it really won't matter. You know, we want to, we want to make sure that we have our options. You know what I mean? So I'm going to put this wig on its last setting. So it has the little adjustable clasp right here. So I'm just going to make sure that it's kind of loose and stick it back on my head. We got her on and like I said, since we're pushing her forward, I'm not really gonna worry about the hairline too much. As you all can see, my widow's peak is nuts. So um, we're not even going to worry about that right now. Um, so we don't wanna look like Shirley Temple, obviously guys. So we're going to go on ahead and kind of play with her a little bit and separate these curls some and you know, make her a little, make her a little messy, you know? Like I said for the other one, I'm going to take the hair from right back here at the crown and push it all forward so that we have our nice little sunflower sunshine shape working for us already. So for the cutting of the hair, guys, um, now that I have kind of the shape that I want with this hair, I'm going to get all of this out of my face because we can't, we can't have this. It's, it's not, it's not cute either way. It's not, it's not cute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my section of hair um, probably like this much. And I'm going to go on ahead and start cutting, guys. So how I do this is I got my section, right? And I'm going to take it and cut most of it so i'm going to start really really low and start just cutting it off because like i saw somebody say on tiktok you can always cut more but you can never put it back on so i want to make sure that i don't f up this wig <laughs> and I do a good job. So piece by piece, usually that's how I do it. So this is really long right here. So I'm just going to take it and slide cut, slide cut, slide cut. If you notice, I'm taking some of the hair around my face like this, and I'm just slide cutting down and making sure that it kind of like frames it a little bit so that I have curls, so that I just don't have like this big old bang. So I just don't have this big old bang in the front of my hair, but you guys see the difference in how it looks now um and that's literally all you really have to do guys like it's super easy to do and it was literally done in five minutes um i could probably cut a little bit more but i don't want to cut too much off of the bang because i don't want to have like bangs up to here honestly um like i said the curls spring back up honestly guys when you're doing this and you're styling this hair less is more so just take your section cut off your initial don't cut off too much and then just start individually cutting these bangs 
guys when i tell you i am obsessed with this i am so obsessed oh my gosh i might even wear this tomorrow to work because guys when i tell you this hair is so bomb it's so bomb and look at how it flows and it's just nice and i'll give you guys a 360 of the hair <laughs> <laughs> like like guys oh my god this is so cute but like i said super easy to do um the bangs very very easy my recommendation for you guys just don't cut off too much start off less is more and then you can always cut off more if you need to but as you all can see I literally took like three swipes to this wig and it turned out the way that I wanted it to. So it's like golden. If you guys want to purchase either one of those wigs, please visit my description below. I'll have both of the links to them there. And if you all have any questions that I didn't answer about the wigs, let me know in my comment section below. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet why 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 haven't you gone ahead and hit that subscribe button for me you know what smash it for me and i will see you all in my next video don't forget to support black business and get you one of these wigs girl get you one of these wigs because Stay bomb, all right? I'll see you guys next time.